Today I will be explaining to you why the number 1 is not a prime number. Ok, this can be explained in a very basic way using the fund fundamental theorem of arithmetic. And this theorem states that every positive integer can be written as a unique product of its primes. So, as an example here, um, as you can see from this example here, 15 can be written as the product of these two primes. So 3, which is prime, and 5, which is prime. You can alternatively write that as 5 times 3. Now, if 1 were to be a prime number, then we would surely have to be times in this by 1, because it has to be as a product of primes. So 1 times 5 times 3 is the same as this. But then again, surely, if we can write that, then we can also write this. 1 times 1 times 1 times 1 times 5 times 3. <clears throat> this will make no difference to the final product. But we can write 1 an endless amount of times in front of the 5 times 3. And it's still a product of primes. However, the reason why 1 is not prime is because it has to be written as a unique product. That means only one of each prime can be used to make this. So, because we could use one an endless amount of times, it won't be unique, and thus is not a prime number. 21 again, 7 times 3, or 3 times 7. These are both prime numbers, 3 and 7, but we could write this as 1 times 3 times 7, or 1 cubed times 3 times 7. But again, 1 would not be displaying 21 as a unique product of primes. It would be different because there is an endless amount of ones we could use. So we could get rid of these and still have the same number. That is the most basic explanation as to why 1 is not a prime number because it will not be able to form a product which is unique when using it and writing out a numbers as a number as products of its prime numbers. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, be sure to like and I'll make some more. Goodbye.